Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. The topic that we're going to discuss today is yet another DAX function, specifically in the relationship functions family, just like the ones that we covered in previous videos, like related and related tables. This one is called cross filter. Now I'm going to show you how cross filter works and why do we actually require cross filter? But before we begin, let's understand the data set that we're going to use today is the same data set that we used a couple of videos back, which was the pizza sales data. I'm only using three tables here so that it's easier for you to understand the cross filter functionality in a better manner. The links for the data set will be in the description below. So you can download that data set and follow along if you want. The first table in this is a date table, which contains uh, three columns, one for date, month and day, right? The second table is again a dimension table, which is a pizza code table. Again, three columns, pizza code, pizza name and category of pizza. And the third table is a fact table containing three columns, which has the sales value for each pizza code on a particular date. So without wasting any time, let's just quickly jump into cross filter functions. Before we actually write the DAX, it's important to understand why we need cross filter. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go to this modeling tab and show you the relationship that I have currently built for these three tables. Now in the center, you have the fact table, which will have multiple records for any single category or a single date. We have multiple row items. Then we have dimension tables, uh, namely date and pizza code. Each one of them has unique values in it. So when we connect it, it creates a one to many relationship. So from pizza code to pizza sales, pizza code being the one part of it and pizza sales has many records in it. And you can see that here as well. It says one on this and it says star here, right? So which means one to many. You might remember from my previous video, when you build a data model, when you create relationship between two tables, this arrow is pretty important. This signifies the type of relation these tables have with each other, with, whether it's a single directional relationship or a both directional relationship. Now that is important because when you apply a filter to a certain table, if it's a single directional relationship, the filtered context flows from the one to many, which is indicated by this arrow sign. So wherever this arrow is pointing out, the filter context will flow in that direction. So in this case, this piece, it will flow from pizza code to pizza sales. And same goes for the dimension date table. The filter context flows from dimension date table to sales, pizza sales table. Now, why is that important? Now I'm going to go to my data tab view here. So let's say the requirement is I need to create a table where I have date values and adjacent to that date value, I want some of sales, which will come from this pizza sales table. And I want another column, which will give me the count of unique pizza names sold in each date. I do not need the count of pizza code. I want the count of pizza names, which is existing in this pizza code table. Now, remember the filter context is flowing from pizza code to pizza sales not the other way around. Okay. So let's see what happens if we try to create that table as it is. Okay. So I'm going to drag this date column in the reporting view and I'm going to convert it to date and I'm going to drag the sales from here. Okay. I'm going to convert this to a matrix and then let me create another measure. Okay. In this pizza code count rows pizza code. Okay. From the dimension table. Now let us drag this here. And if you see the count that it gives me is five for each and every item. That is because in the pizza code table, I have five types of pizza, right? And it's giving me a straight away count. It's giving me a count of all basically and not applying any filter context. That is because the filter context is flowing from pizza code to pizza sales and from dimension date to pizza sales. So when I use a dimension from the dimension date table, the filter context flows from this table onto this table, which is the fact table, but 
stops there. It does not flow through this FISA code table. When we are trying to use a column from this PISA code table, that is why it's not giving me the correct number. But what happens if I double click on this relationship and instead of a single relationship, I make it both. Now, if I go back, it, it is giving me the correct count. So let's check what's happening. I know that in pizza sales table on 1st of January, I have sold three types of pizza, namely farmhouse, deluxe and double cheese, which is indicated by this pizza code. Now you might think that in this specific scenario, instead of counting the pizza names, I could have simply counted pizza code from here and that would have solved the problem. And you're right, but I'm trying to explain the scenarios where you would not have that flexibility and you would have to count some other column which does not exist in your main fact table. So in that case, you would have to use either this method where you are making it as both. But the problem with this method is if your data mode model is complex enough and you do not want to make any changes just to do this one calculation, then you will find a challenge because just to do this one calculation, if you're trying to make a cross filter direction change in your entire data model that can have weird behaviors in other calculation that you're doing right and you do not want that so i'm going to convert it back to single again okay and i'm going to come back to this reporting view and in this measure i'm going to encapsulate this inside the calculate function because cross filter does not work alone on its own you would need a function something similar to calculate okay so i'm going to write calculate and in the filter section i'm going to write cross filter and the column that i'm referring to right now is pizza code from dimension and pizza code from pizza sales because these two are the foreign and primary key which we use to create our relationship now the third parameter here which is cross filter type you have five options both none one way one way left filter right and one way right filter left now in this specific scenario we only need both so i'm going to write both and close the bracket and press enter now as you see it has given me the correct number and it has the same result as if i have manually gone here and changed the relationship to both but as i said scenarios where your data model is complex and you do not want to manually make any relationship changes here because you do not know what negative impact it could have on other calculation that you're doing in those scenarios you can use this cross filter function i would suggest that you play around with this function and try out the same thing on other data sets if you have anything you can download you know multiple data sets from kaggle or create your own so that you get a better understanding how this dax works so that's it for today i hope this was helpful and if you're liking my content then please consider subscribing to the channel it will really help me out and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much